Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Hey, 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 hey. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. If you are just logging on, good morning. If you are on the replay, please do remember to put your comments in the comment thread. Do let me know where you are messaging from, who you are, and how you are finding these mornings. Good morning, Instagram. How are you? We are still with you. We are, I think this is our third week in now. We might be second week in with Instagram, but good morning, good morning, good morning. Before I go any further, guys, it's kind of dark in here. Um, before I go any further, let me just say to you that um, we are going to be moving from my profile page on Facebook, and we're going to be going on to my business page um, as from next week. So your morning inspirations are not going to be on this page on Facebook. So if you are not my, if you're not following me on my professional page on my business page, you need to link link up with me there because the. Uh, morning inspirations are going to be on that page as from next Monday only. I'm taking things off of my personal page and putting it onto the professional. We have to move in the way in which we are purposed to do so. So guys, I'm just going to say to you as I'm saying good morning to those who are on Instagram, the new fam, our new family, um, where I will be transmitting from will be my person, my business my business Facebook page and YouTube. Those are the places that you're going to find me. If you're not in any of my other groups, I've got lots of Facebook groups which do different things, but this is where we're going to be. So that's just the announcement for this morning. So good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Monday and it's Manifest Monday. Now, last week we did a whole week on manifestation. We did the whole week on manifestation. And so I want to find out how you guys are doing. I want to find out how you're getting on um, with this task. Also, um, as we're going to be moving forward, I want to just talk a little bit on um, another subject. So, guys, I haven't forgotten. I want you to remember that we are manifesting. We are producing stuff. We are moving forward. This, this is no time to play games. This is no time to be complacent. We are moving forward. Those of you who are black, black people, those of you who are black, I want to encourage you to buy black. I want to encourage you to do black. I want to encourage you to increase our, our um commodities within the black uh, industry and buy black. Okay, so those are my public announcements <laughs> for this morning. So we're going to jump in to the inspiration for this morning. So as we would have been talking, as we've been looking at manifesting and manifesting what we want, manifesting what we are, our, our, our vision is, one of the things that I wanted to move on from there is now that you have done the manifestation, now that you have set the goals, now that you have done all that you think that you need to do and you have followed this each five steps, now that you've done that, now I want you to now act as if it's already done. This is the bonus. Act as if it's already done. What does that mean, Yvonne? It means that you now have to embody the whole thing. You have to embody the whole process and, and count it as done. It has done and wait to receive. Remember on Friday, we said receive. On Friday, that's the last part of uh, receiving it. But there is an action that you need to take. There is an action that is necessary for you to manifest. And that is acting as if. That is that you have now changed your complete mindset, your thought process on how you see yourself, how you see what you've done. Right. And so now you are acting as if you are playing the part. So if you believe if you're you're manifesting that you're going to become a CEO of your own company, that like one. Adopt a CEO mindset. Right. If you are saying, right, I'm going to be an author. I'm going to write a book, then act like an author, talk like an author, behave like an author, do the things that authors would do. If you don't know what an author would do, research it. Google is now your best friend. Don't ask me. Ask Google, because those kinds of things are what I call using your initiative, right? 
you ask me the intricate questions, the questions that are going to move you from where you are to where you want to be. But how to act like an author, research authors, see how they behave, do what they do. Look at, are they blogging? Are they are, are they vlogging? Are they blogging? What are they doing? Are they Have they got a podcast? What are they doing? So what I'm saying to you now is to get into action. Action how you are to behave. Action how you are to be in order for you to have. No, let me see. Are actions so for you to be, in order for you to do, for, in order for you to have, right? That's the process. Be, do, have. Be, do, have. Remember that, guys. It's be, so be it, but embrace it, embody it, the whole feeling. And when I talk about embodying it, I'm talking about it from this perspective, that you're acting as if it's done. So you're embodying it, how you would feel if you were in that position. Now you live in it, live in it, become it, be it, have it, do it. You've got to embody the whole process. Now that might feel a little bit strange to you, but I want you to understand that in order for us to be who we think we are, we have to do yeah, and behave that way. Why? So that when it happens, it's just a natural thing. You're not overwhelmed. You're not starstruck. You're, you know, you, you're just embracing this thing that you're doing, that you're having, that you've already seen, that God has already placed in your mind. It's already in your mind's eye. So it's already done. So behave that way. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I'm hoping that I'm getting you guys. There are some of there are some of you out there that are procrastinating. There are some of you out there that are feeling that you can't, you're not good enough, or you haven't got enough what you need. You, you don't have the equipment, you don't have um all the gadgets. Listen, you don't need it yet right? Use what you have in your hand until you have what you need. Do you understand? Use what you have in your hand till you have what you need. Use what you have till you have what you need, yeah? And and try and do these things for yourself, right? Because things to, to, to build a business is expensive, so you now have to be resourceful. Remember last week, the week before, the week before that, I've been telling you how powerful you are. Now, this week, I'm telling you, you are resourceful. The resources that you need are already in your hand. They're already within you. You don't need anything else. Whatever else you need will come. It will come. So don't be looking um, at what you don't have, because what comes from that is excuses. Let me just say that again. Don't look at what you don't have because what comes from that is excuses. That's all that you're going to find that you do. You're going to just start making excuses. Oh, I can't do this because of that. I can't do that because of this. I can't do that because of them. And I can't do that because of... And it just becomes a big old excuse. We are not making excuses, people. We are moving forward. Like I said, if you are joining me in the global empowerment movement, if you are joining me there, we don't have time for excuses. And if the work is, or if you don't do the work, then you don't stay. It's simple. I'll just show you, you know, we're just going to ask you to leave. Simple. Because what we are looking for, what we are looking for is a movement of people who are willing and who are ready to do the work, to increase their wealth, to increase their confidence, to increase how they're feeling about themselves, and also to invest back into their own communities. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're building, people. We're not, this is not a joke team. This is real. This is, we can see what's going on outside. We can see what's going on in the world around us and, and, and let us not make any mistake. We now have to make do some action to change this whole situation. There is some stuff that other people have to do, but there's some stuff that we have to do. And one of the things that we must do is create our own wealth, right? And creating your own wealth starts here. Many people in business, many people in joke business, right? Now it's about being serious and floating and making that money to make a difference. And I know that people, oh, the love of money, the love of, it's the love of money that is the root of all evil. He never said we shouldn't make money. And let me just be clear about what money is. Money is energy. We are energy. And so we need the, the accumulative energy that 
that is called money to do more in the world. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. It's not about the love of money, but what it is, it enables us to do more good in the world. And because we don't have it, especially in, in the African Caribbean communities, as we don't have it like the other communities, we are struggling. So now it's about change. Now it's about us taking ownership. Now it's about us taking responsibility. Now it's about us doing Let's put our, our, our actions into it. So we're going to now act as if we're act as if we are CEOs of our own company and it's making millions and millions of pounds. So what would that person look like? What would they be doing on a day to day basis? What are you doing today? This is Manifest Monday. So this is about setting a clear intention of what you want to achieve by the end of the week and achieving it by the end of the week. No mistake, no excuses, no excuses whatsoever. We have no time for that this morning. Today, this morning, I just come to talk to you. It might have been, this could have been tomorrow's Tuesday's truth, but it, it just happens to be today, okay? So guys, ladies and gentlemen, we have work to do. So you set your, your main focus of intention last week. That was your end goal. This week, I want you to think about how, what goal is going to get you one step closer to that thing that you want to manifest this week. What goal, what one goal can you do today that's going to take you one step further towards the goal that you want to manifest that you had set from last week? For those of you who were not on last week, Last week, we went through uh, manifestation on what it is to manifest. And somebody uh, had sent a message asking. So what I want you to do, those of you who haven't uh, or haven't seen last week's shows, I want you to go back. They're all on uh, YouTube. Go back to them and you will see manifestation on it. It's clearly written. And I want you to go and, and go through that process. It's only like, I suppose there's 10 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes of talking per for five days. And then I want you to do your part. So think of what your intention is, what you want to manifest, the biggest, the big picture, make it big. And now this week, you're going to make one small step towards that. What's that going to be that you're going to do today? What are you going to do today to bring you one step closer to your manifestation? Let me just say this, right? You guys know that I'm manifesting hard. Friday was just off the chain. I had to take Saturday and Sunday off. I haven't done anything over the weekend apart from relax. Because remember, on the Thursday, it's be, be vigilant, you know, watch for the synchronicities and the opportunities. I've already seen it. So you've got to be aware, guys. You've got to be aware. So just going to quickly go on to the thread. And like I said, on Fridays, what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, have questions and answers on Friday. So Friday session will be a lot longer than what these are. OK. All right. So. So remember, guys. Um, today, oh, we've got lots of messages. Remember to, what today, guys, what today is, and remember who you are. So it's now adopting the CEO mindset. Yeah, the CEO mindset is something that you need to adopt. Yeah, today, 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 today. So, uh, okay, so good morning to everyone that's watching. Lolly Bailey says, Amen. I am a CEO. Well, and I'm good enough. Well, <laughs> JJ says, Be and have. Well, <laughs> all I'm going to say is, Well, come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Um, so, so money, money is energy. I want you to understand that Men, money is energy. Yeah, it is energy. So, you know, we are attracting energy. We're manifesting what? Through energy. So therefore, you can claim it if you're brave enough. If you want to believe in you and you believe that you are that you were born to make money, then speak it. Remember, I am. Remember the I am's. Remember the I am's, guys. Right. So good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Listen. Right, before I go, because time is up, I just want you to remember who you are and what you're here to do, right? Remember who you are, what you're here to do. Manifestation is in you. Manifestation is something that you can do. Manifestation is your birthright. Manifestation on how we create 
is in your DNA and it's up to you to activate it. All right. You've got the five steps. You got those last week. Now activate it. Now today you're going to start acting as if you are whatever it is that you're manifesting. You're going to walk in it. You're going to talk in it. You're going to embrace it. You're going to sleep in it. You're going to sing in it. You're going to speak in it. You're going to eat it, breathe it, embody it. Yeah. Embody the experience. What would it feel like to be that person that you want to be at the end? Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel the feeling, feel it and embrace that feeling. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. I'm leaving you with this this morning. So tomorrow is Tuesday's truth. We are moving on, people. We are moving on. Those of you who want to fashion your business, who want to move forward in your business, who want to be a CEO for real and make some change. Those of you who've got a hobby that is just a hobby that you think, mm, maybe, I don't know if it could turn into a business. Listen, at the bottom of the link or the top of the link, I am going to leave my scheduler. My scheduler has my appointments on it. I give a 20 minute free consultation. Take advantage of the freeness. Come and speak to me. Let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can change your life. You may have to stay in your employment for now, but we are going to start to create another income, a residual income for you because we need our own things. We need our own money and our money is powerful. Remember, it's powerful. And who are we? Or what do we have? We are resourceful. We've got everything. We're going to use what we have until we have what we need. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. I'll be back here tomorrow at 9 a.m. And for those of you who do remember tonight, uh, Conversations with Yvonne Michelle, we are talking about the recent uh, uh, public lynching, because that is what it was of George Floyd. We have community leaders. We have an open panel. Please join me right here on Facebook, on my profile page, on Facebook, join me for one of the last big sessions that's going to be on um, this page. So um, join me tonight. It's going to be amazing. And have your say, have your questions to throw at the panel and let's see what solutions we can come up with. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. Ciao, ciao.